Okay, this is what I had before, the little giant uh, condensate remover. That's the old uh, tank, and there was a float inside there. The float would lift up, would trigger the pump to pump. Don't even touch stuff, I'm sorry. It won't last you that long, maybe two years tops. I'm going to try this VCMX-20 little giant um, bomba de condensado. Look how big this guy is. That's a I'm going to use the little giant. It's a very space um, conscious and it's very easy. This one is even easier, bro. This is the tank right here. Plug them in. This is your outlet now. This is what's going to be pumped out of your house. This one right here. There's a lock and an unlock setting on it. The lock setting just means that you're having this receptacle locked into the unit. If it's in an unlocked position, it can fly out. Okay. So you want to have it connected in the locked position. Also, my my hose is way smaller than what is provided here, see? So what I did was I got a multitude of hoses and I got them all connected and it works. So this one here is just your, your condensate water. It's going to go in any one of the holes. You see that? There's holes here here and here so you can run it any way you don't want this to kink because you're not going to get good water flow it's worked good last night this is the test switch right here you see that what that does is that raises the float level indicating to the pump that the tank is full pumping out water so that's the basics right here, guys. I'm not going to bore you guys with bull crap. These two wires are safety wires for your thermostat. If you don't, you're going to hook it up to a thermostat, you don't need those wires to be hooked up. You might want to butt them up at the ends. Aloha.